have charge syndrome. I was a very, very sick child when I was born. I was born completely blind with no vision. It's a condition called Usher's syndrome, and I'm actually born with it. And I didn't know until I was 28 years old that I had it. Now I, I no longer can see. I lost the vision in my left eye, and there was no warning. It just disappeared. I first noticed it driving back from Ontario in my motorhome, and I thought there was something wrong with my sunglasses. And I kept trying to clean my glasses, and I'd put them on again. And It's always like you're looking through clouded glasses, and somebody's got the lights turned fairly low. And I was serving lunch one day, and somebody quite high up wanted mashed potatoes. But unfortunately, I gave them whipped cream. <laughs> so I didn't stay there much longer. A big whole change in my life. Couldn't go out and get in the car and drive. I couldn't do any shopping by myself. There's definitely challenges in terms of like orientation and mobility. Everything from getting dressed to combing your hair and brushing your teeth, suddenly you got to rely on the tactile side of life. It's the big word with us blind people, in independence. When you're at people's house, you got to ask somebody, can you take me to the washroom? It's not a question you want to ask. When I was sighted, I never thought of that word, not once. And now it's all I strive for. I gave up flying, I gave up driving, and I drove everywhere. I went, I had a motorhome, I had a motorcycle. I thought I would be ready. You can't be ready. When you're out in public white caning by yourself, it's very isolating. For fear of saying something wrong or doing something wrong, people tend to either not want to help or not want to interact with you. I was contacted by CNIB and I was like a lifeboat coming along. I knew that I would have help and support and be able to do things independently and meet new people and people that have the same struggle. It feels good to see other people with low vision just like me. I've been impressed with the CNIB since the very first time they came into my family's life. I felt like I came home. So having that feeling of comfort when I'm in this building is something that's been great. I mean, deafblind people have rights. A lot of people think that we can't do everything and anything. You know what? It's a choice you can make. You can sit down in the corner and cry and feel sorry for yourself. Or you can get up, go get some help, ask people for help. Don't be afraid. When you see a visually impaired person identified by a cane, respect them for the courage that it takes to do that. And don't dismiss it.